We now return to Conan Exiles. Okay. So I went back. Got a few people. May as well give them some experience as well. Alright, why don't we go this way? Go deal with this oasis. And we'll go up there and see what we can see. Appear to be anything here. Okay, well, never mind. I mean, I guess I could get some more yellow lotus. Just making sure they're all coming. And I need to build some armor for them, but, you know, this is the uh, trial by fire thing, I guess. We will require them to fight and prove that they can last for a bit. So I've still got this strength weapon thing going on. Should I pick it something else? Hmm. For now. Looks ominous. I do not know if this is going to be Skulltaker Outpost. But if it is, this might be Skulltaker Outpost. No, wait a minute. No, we're, we're alright. Got some pants. Don't need the pants. Okay. Just in case this is, that's the wrong one. Just in case this is, let's go to locations and maybe we'll unlock Skull Taker Outpost. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. The giant skull here. People, come on. Nothing really there. Well, I guess I can take that. It's the only way to make the fire orbs. We don't need the wind chimes. I can give you... I think you might prefer these. These are, what, one value? Yeah, at least get some armor. Okay, so that's the way down to where we started. Hmm. Feel like something is not spawned in here. In fact, there's nobody here. Hold on. Take that. Guess I can take that. Darfari sword. Okay. Darfari. Uh, the war paint, I think, is going to be a thing. Let's hold off on that. Our weapons. Take that. I don't know why. Very easy to make. Yeah, so that's the way down. So I'm not really sure what the story is for why we were in that cave to begin with, but it kind of implies we were prisoners. There's nothing up here. Hmm. Is there really only the one person? Put 
Looks like we got a Yogg shrine up there. There's a nobody there. Weird. Improvised torch, okay, so that doesn't last any longer. Alright, so you, let's see. Before we, I mean, whatever. You can have that one. Why don't we give you the helmet? There. Yeah, there was, Who's uh, that? oh. <laughs> I was gonna say. There's definitely supposed to be somebody here, but they're all sleeping. Okay, yeah, yeah I don't like what you're doing here. Uh, tactics... I guess stand and defend. She kept trying to get range on those guys, and it wasn't working. Torn parchment. I uh, just... Whose body is that? Take that. I might just take that for myself, actually. It is light armor 11. Okay. In that case, uh, since you... Uh, you're... Gonna be more vulnerable, aren't you? Probably. Let's just give that to you. I mean, the melee guy is going to be in melee, so like maybe I should have given it to him. He's already got a helmet, though. Priest? Warrior? Just a warrior. That's it. Okay. Guys, Let's see where does this lead? Up here yet? Okay. I do feel like there's something a lot stronger up here, somewhere. That may be problematic. Coal. Maybe rock noses? Ah, vulture nest. I'll take some feathers, even though I think we've got some. Not really useful for anything but making pillows. And very specific armor sets. I know there's something here. Somewhere. What's that? Rock nose. There we go. I think there's even something worse than that up here. Either that, or I'm just having traumatic flashbacks from uh, climbing up that hole the first time I played this map, and then getting my ass handed to me because... How are we doing on the food? Okay. Um, because everything ate me. And you should be fine, so okay. Guess we'll go down there. I am much more prepared this time around. Even though I'm only in light armor. Definitely do need to go back. Boost things up. 
How do we go back and uh, fix fix up the base? Get some production going in here. I definitely think we can go straight to steel. Got all that stuff unlocked. So. Oh, okay. First, though, I did say we were going to go explore uh, down here by the shipwreck. Because, I mean, there's just islands out here. That's pretty much all that. So, yeah, we'll, we've already hit that one. We'll go explore around here just a little bit. shoreline here. Gonna have to get myself a horse, but I don't know where they are. Or, 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 or a rhino. Uh, we did see the rhino baby. Where was that again? It was over here somewhere, I think, where I saw the rhino and the elephant. So that wouldn't be bad. I mean, at least to be a mount early on. Horses are faster, though. We've got shalebacks down here. Not that we need to fight them. There might be the king shaleback somewhere. These are not hostile. That one is hostile. <laughs> can have that. And nada. I feel like there's a story here that they're missing an opportunity to tell. Like where did this gigantic Stygian boat come from? It's really more of a ship. Why did it get flung all the way? Hey, there's another camp up there all the way up on the shore. I do not know where the Savage Wilds are in that Hyboria. The Barrican Islands are established in Conan lore. I'm pretty sure I know where the Exiled Lands are. Did I ever post that map? I don't know if I did. Um, and then... The Isle of Sipta is actually established in Conan lore as well, so... Well, this looks like a real outpost. This may be Skulltaker outpost. If they... Skull Ridge, okay. I don't want to shoot an arrow at these guys because they may trigger... Ruth Dead Eater. Yeah. Just hold still. Are they... I have no idea where they're going. At least they didn't run off and try to pathfind up there, which may mean there's no direct path there we have to climb. Oh, maybe not. That's good, though. That's good. Maybe they changed the pathfinding AI because... Oh, maybe, maybe not. Um, because normally, I think that they would try and run off and uh, get themselves killed, so... Oh, boy. Hey, I had my shield out. Okay, uh, I guess we can give you a helmet. Got an 
archer over there. Ooh, a golem head. Okay. Take some of that. Uh, we'll take those for cooking. Book. Prayer to Yogg. I see. Level up. Perfect. Get out of my way. Yeah, they're just kind of... Let's go edge. Okay, nothing here. Henner <laughs> 3, huh? Well, in another time, I would have been happy to have tried to capture you. Oh, I do need water. That makes soup as well as potions. I saw? Oscar. <laughs> One measly coin. Right. I have much better arrows at the moment, so I don't need those iron heads collected. Ah, Gilded Urn. That's something new. Skelos Cult Mastery. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I still don't know how to start the sources. <laughs> start the sorcery. Flaming skull. Corrupted mask. Okay. There is. There's some kind of. Let's see. I uh, don't need that. All right, let me see what this is about. Gilded urn, a treasure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because one of the the things, the challenges, was place a small treasure, and I had no idea how to get a treasure. That's a treasure. Cool, cool. This opulent urn likely contains the ashes of nobility, a wealthy merchant, a prominent priest of Asura. Uh, there are some who believe cremated ashes contain power of the souls of the dead. Those are blah, 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 blah. okay. Cool. I have a treasure. The fiery sword, which appears to be completely broken. We'll drop that. Uh, how many? How many guardian pieces do I have now? I don't. Th I don't think enough to make a golem. And I wouldn't even know where that guy is, either. Okay, well, uh, I guess I can keep going to the left. We determined... Oh no, I haven't even determined anything. What am I talking about? So there were dragons. I probably should have marked them, actually. I think there were dragons here or here. Maybe they were guarding that pass. I bet they're right there. Well, we can head that way. I do want to go back to the base, though, so let's just poke our head around. I want to see what's what. Maybe we'll climb this, see what we can from the top. Don't want to run into any dragons by mistake, but I definitely think I need to see... Hmm. Well, if nighttime comes along, I can maybe see something via the campfires in the distance. Ah, uh, hyenas. That's what I thought I saw up here. Okay. Well, I guess we can just go up there. Is that a flag? Nah, maybe not. That kind of looks like a flag right up there. Oh, there are boats. Let's go see the boats. There's boats, there's people, or treasures, or story, or what the hell is that out there?
Oh, a little village, maybe. Okay, well, let's head that way, then. Hmm, there's a rock bridge. I wonder if I missed something up there. Along here. I guess we can run there first. For a minute there, that kind of looked like a dragon out there, but it's just one of the red tents. That's okay. I, I do have to be thorough on this map, though. I do not know any of the locations. And somewhere is going to be a hidden cavern, probably, that leads to the Tome of Korok. So that's going to be a thing we're going to have to hunt down. There's going to be some hidden... Oh my god, you guys. going to be some hidden things around. So it's going to be slow going. Oscar is very angry. Hmm. It's kind of an empty map. Oh, there's... There's a big thing. Oh, that must be what we're looking at right there. Okay, well, we won't be doing that just yet. But we will be looking around. There's boats there. We'll be looking around here. Is that... Glowy Goop? What is that? If it is glowy goop, I'll take it. You found an unappetizing fish shoal. Oh! Okay, so like if I put a fishery thing here, it would probably just give me a lot of unappetizing fish. An unappetizing fish shoal. Another one over there. That's an exotic fish shoal. That must be that one. Okay. So like if you specifically wanted something... There's no fishing in... well, unless the mod added it, which I don't know how that it's even possible. I'm pretty sure, though, like, if you had a fishing thingy, fish catcher, it would catch those specific fish. Um, why don't we... let's just put a marker here. We'll call this, uh, fishing spot. Spots. Sports spots. Let's actually make it wildlife. Just in case, I very much doubt I would come down here specifically to get fish. Carnival Caravan Masters will now arrange passage for you to South Beach. Oh, hey, they're friendlies. Cool. Put it away. Shamala, the Pirate Queen, whom I cannot talk to. I will put it away. Okay. Weba Shamrock, Zena the Fixin, Thrall Merchant, what Regular Merchant. The Shield of Zabweth. Purchase for 100 silver? Coin? Save travels, exile. And what then 80,000 for Relic Hunter? Ay. Okay, well. Fun, I guess. Caravan Master. Ahoy, exile. What news? Free of charge to the Maroon outskirts. Um. No man's land for ten thousand bronze. Where's no man's land? Safe. Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh, we want to go back to Maroon anyway. Why don't we go? What tidings, traveler? Maroon. May the wind guide you. May you always find water, wanderer. Pointless with admin teleport, yes, but it's a cool feature nonetheless. Something I wish that uh, they would steal for the main game, actually. <laughs> Because they've done that before, taken inspiration from mods, and then implemented worse versions of them. God, I, I'm, I've mentioned this, I think, in probably every series so far, but there used to be a mod back in the beta that was for merchants, and you could put up a stall, and it was just like, 
a, a ratio to trade. So you could trade a bunch of stone for iron or you know whatever you needed. And it was so good. And then they stopped working on the mod because every time they updated the main game it broke the mod. But I just... I, I don't know why they never tried to re-implement something like that. It was so smooth. And it, it really helped out in the early game if you were playing legit. Just trying to, to get all your items collected, materials collected. Add more coins to the loot. All right. Let's stuff that in here. Okay, everybody, we're home. You can all stand guard. Thank you. I have no idea where the cat is. I put the cat in here. I open the door. Oh, it's back now. It teleports through doors. Interesting. Okay, so it, it must have a spawn point that it then just kind of wanders around. I, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, right, let's start breaking stuff down and moving it. Which is... Uh, that's going to take so much. I guess I'm going to have to load up and then do a thing. So actually, do I have enough points now to get myself... I do. Beast of Burden. You can move at full speed when encumbered. Fantastic. Let's add to authority. It will now goad the enemy, and we may as well go full strength then, yeah? Uh, heavy attack, stagger for 25% longer. Below 25%, you cannot be staggered or da knocked down. See, but I don't plan on being below 25% health if I can help it, so... Let's go with Crushing Swings instead. That is more likely to trigger, so... Okay, um... I'm gonna have to pull you. Let's go... Implement this first. So let's pop the crafting smith. There you go. Crafting stations into place. Hmm. Let's see, would it be better maybe to actually have this in here? If I could tuck a couple things in here this way. I just like the idea of having the furnace sitter in there. Because it's not really going to sit here. I mean, it will. Oh, well. Guess I can do that. Then maybe put like a, a torch brazier or something behind it. It would fit better under here for sure. Whatever. Let's just get the stuff in here. Okay. Um back. There's not a lot of room there. Just gonna kind of damper what I wanted to do. Need to take you two. Five. I probably have the journey step to do replacements, actually. That's not what I want. That is not what I want. Um, for the improved stuff, so maybe maybe I should hold off on that. Two there. So were I to do that is the wrong one. Decoration light. Okay, I must not have any of them unlocked yet. There's candles. Uh, 
How these guys are unlocked. We make them at an artisan's table. Uh, okay. Well, I don't have any other. Yeah. All right. Fine. Um. Then what? So what I was thinking, I want to make a hoard. Um, I think I'm going to make a treasure vault. I'm thinking I'm going to try making it hang off the cliff. So there'll be like a doorway, but then you walk down into it, and we'll see if that will allow me to put the coins in place. Maybe, maybe. I uh, will probably want to grab this. That is not what I want. Put the tannery in place. Um, I guess it can go right by the window. It should either go by the window or upstairs where it'll be out in the open. There it is. Okay, it doesn't quite fit. But it'll work. What else? I need armor making. That could go against that wall. If I made this fit better. Which crap do I have up here? That is the golem workbench. Okay. Um... Actually, I got the artisan's table. Now the art well, okay. I don't think we're going to keep the hut. Okay, so let's put down the armor bench. Now oh, that'll still fit there, that's fine. That way it's close to the metal and the fabric. Why is it hovering? Whatever. Um, then we will do, well, okay, Tanner's table would actually also go there. If I put it down here, yeah, this bothers me, I want this thing to sit. Maybe it's just the shadow. It looks like it's hovering. Um, okay, so that'll work-ish. I don't know. Um, carpentry. Yeah. Artisan table. You can do a Terranian artisan table, I guess. Nemedian. Nemedian might actually fit theme a little bit. A little bit chunkier wood. Kind of a design. A little more primitive looking. Whatever. They, I, I don't know why they decided to make so many and then change it. Originally, I think, like, if you made a Nemedian one, that's how you made Nemedian-specific items and yeah, all the other ones too. But now, now you can just make everything from everything, so kind of pointless. And then putting things up here, I have no idea. I should fit things in there. I don't know what I would, though. Treasure chest, maybe? But I should put stuff up here. I guess I could put the golem bench here and, like, the alchemy stuff. Keep your mundane crafting down below. I do kind of want you to come along with me. Can I move you? No. Well... You should actually be up in the bedroom. Yeah. Let's see, the torturer's workshop. I should be down there. Okay. I mean, I would maybe put that right there. Companion? 
or along that wall. We just put it here for now. I, I don't really know. I don't know how I should lay that out. What am I missing? I mean, there's that for alchemy. We'll just hold off on that for a moment. That cooking. Could do cooking. Alright. I should have enough items in my pocket to build everything I want right now, so... Let's see, smithing. We do need a casting table. That thing is huge. Maybe that would go under there. What else? So, alchemy's got a couple things. The cooking, there's a new... Oh, the grill. Right, the grill that I picked up. Just out of curiosity. Okay, that's pretty small, actually. I could shove that in a corner somewhere. Clan. Clan emblem workbench. Let's go put this up here for a moment. Create or join a clan... Ah, okay. Um, I'll have to think of that. i have to think of a name. What am I doing? Um, okay. So we'll do that. We'll make some clan banners and all that stuff. Right, we do... I've got a shrine to Mitra. Should probably build that out here. How big is that going to be? Okay. So maybe not a drawbridge. That seems a little close. But maybe I can use the regular bridges. So we need to do that for sure. And then sorcery. That's, that's reasonably big. So I could do golem on the second. Second level. Right, let's move that that uh, animal pen it's right back here. It'll fit nicely there. I have no idea what I'm going to put over here then. It's going to be a very long run through nothing. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I can come up with something. Maybe, maybe a few other buildings. Maybe I'll keep the sorcery and the golem construction separate and the cat is getting lost. <laughs> I can't see it in the bushes. Um, yeah, because there's, there's plenty of space up here for sure. I kind of like the idea of having it all together, because that makes it very easy and tight to deal with. What is your issue now? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Why is that? You can usually stand on the roofs normally. Oh, maybe it just didn't like it on these ones? It doesn't like it on the triangles. Okay. Weird. Okay. Zoom in here. Something like that. Maybe that looks all right. It is a little close to this. No, oh, whatever. Um, okay. So yeah, now we got all kinds of place, but I, I, I do kind of maybe because right here goes right off a cliff. So can have like an entryway. Well, let's let's see how this works. Let's go into creative mode here. Even though I've got more than enough materials to do this legitimately. Um, it's going to have to be well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How does one do this? I guess we have to build our own platform here. Let's see. No, it's got to be we got to start a little higher and then work our way out, I guess. And then like a stairway down. 
And see, I, I don't want hanging stuff like this. I, I do want it to kind of look like there's something underneath it, so we'll do a floor. And then I guess I will... This won't go up and under. I will use the beams to make it look like it is supported. Maybe it look better with like a half round. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I, just I'm, I just want to test right now to see what it takes to build an enclosure. Where did that even go? Okay, I gotta go to ghost mode real quick. Otherwise there's going to be a hanging wall somewhere. I placed a wall. I thought I did. I heard it. I heard the noise it made. Did we put one on the inside? No. Okay, well, I guess not. That's fine, then. I just don't want things like that glitching out. I think that automatically took ghost mode off. Yeah. Right. So let's try it again. Let's just maybe put down a wall. It's not pretty, but it's just a proof of concept. See, I just did it again. I just put something down. Oh, I replaced the wall here. I see. Okay. Got to be a little more careful. Okay. Let's enclose this. Yeah, I mean, it looks like crap right now, but that's the idea, as I want kind of a, a hanging, hanging wall chamber. Okay. So, let's, let's get out of creative mode, go into crafting clan, no, clan, coin pile, some coins. And then we will make the money vault. Scrooge McDuck money vault. Okay, so when I got it out here, it won't let me do it. Is that just because of the terrain? Hmm. Okay, so it can be built outside. Oh. But it can be put here. Okay. Coin pile. Is that it? I'm going to have to look. Does it does it grow? Here, let's uh, let's do an experiment. Admin panel, we will do with coin. Thousand of those. That's gold stone, gold coin. Okay. Let's drop that. So, I wonder if it has to be attached to here. That I, w when I was placing it, I saw that there was like a an area detector radar. Well, I'm going to have to read the patch notes again. 
but I thought it said something about you can grow your treasure hoard, it will change over time. So I'm just wondering if maybe like that thing can detect what is in your stash and then it will grow into an actual coin pile. Because if that's all it does, uh, I don't want to get my coins back. And then we can just empty our ill-gotten goods. Don't worry, I'll probably cheat the horde in when I need money to accomplish something. Okay, well, uh, that proves we can do this, though. So, let's get a creative mode here. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that stuff all sorted so we can do some decorating. But then, yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty good area. There's a lot of space up here. I don't know what I want to do with it, though. I may need, well, no, I've got a small animal pen. Don't need the big animal pen. And I will build that little shrine temple out here, and then that's pretty much everything. <laughs> everything we'll need for a basic base. Um, teleport and sorcery? Maybe I could do a little little sorcery platform tower over here, even even though role-playing wise uh, a scion of Mitra would not really be good with that. I don't know. And then, of course, we got to get a lift going off of this edge so I don't have to hassle myself so much. In fact, maybe I could do that over here, too. Since we keep going off that, just build a, a le... Oh, yeah, actually, that looks like it might go. Well, it goes down A level, anyway. I could take it A level and then maybe make stairs down or something. Stick it out. Uh, how far would that stick out? We could make it stick out. The platform here and then run stairs down that. Just make it easier to get around. Because we want to keep coming back to base. But it's going to be harder and harder to do that. But if I can actually locate more... Well, so I'm going to have two options, right? I'm going to have these now. The caravans. And then I'm also going to have the... Oh, there's a sunken ship out there. Um, the teleporters. So I should be able to get around relatively easy. This was not actually too much of a journey to get there. So the map kind of looks big and intimidating. But like going up here, there's no way I'd want to come back through here. But I'm sure there's a caravan around here somewhere. That looks like a village. Yeah. Okay. Anyway... More to explore, and then I've got to do some more of these challenges, because I don't think I've got any more levels built up here. Yeah. So what do we got coming up? A Stygian bench. More lands. I'll, I'll go ahead and create a, a clan, too, so I can start making specific decorations. A nice tapestry. That's cool. A Vanir Savage Boar. Oh, a lot of fun stuff. Okay. I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.